Stepping into the bar Lansdowne Street in Bonita Springs is like a quick trip to Boston. Coming as often as I can. The Red Sox memorabilia, New England clam chowder, even the restrooms make Joe Lyons feel at home. It's just the atmosphere overall. But when he thinks about April 15th in the city he lived in for 70 years, his heart sinks. The tragedy. It was the Boston Marathon, the day three people were killed and more than 260 injured when two bombs exploded. On Friday, Rolling Stone magazine hits newsstands. The suspect in the attack, Zokar Sarnaev, will be featured on the cover. I think it's a disgrace and it should never be done. And the Rolling Stones should just get back to reality. The magazine defends the article, saying it's within tradition of, quote, serious and thoughtful coverage. The article in it sets out to explain why an American student turned to radical Islam. I've been buying Rolling Stone magazine for 30 years. Paul Koto says he's never missed an issue. This will be his first. I will this time with the, with the killer on the front page. For those who want the magazine, it may be harder to get. Both CVS and Walgreens announced to pull it from their shelves. I use CVS and I'll probably use them a lot more after this. Joe Lyons feels the same. To him, the latest issue of Rolling Stone shouldn't have made it off the printing press in the first place. Everybody should stop, especially the ones in Florida, the ones in Boston, Publix, all of the major stores.